Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark and in this video, I'm going to discuss arithmetic sequence but this time with the aid of Casio FX991EX or commonly known as the class trees. Okay, actually yung problem na isosolve ko dito, na-discuss ko na siya manually, okay? Uh, dun sa previous video ko in which you can find the link on the description below, okay? Now, what I'm going to show you is that there's an alternative way to do that Okay, a faster way to do that, and that is with the use of this technology. Okay, so if you have this uh, unit, okay, kung may ganito ang calculator, better. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you how to maximize the feature that your calculator will offer. Okay, however, kung wala ka pa namang ganitong calculator, okay lang. So meron naman tayong emulator, and that's what I'm going to use in presenting uh, this lesson. Okay, you can download that. You can find the link also in the description below, okay? Uh, but I'd like to remind you, yung emulator na yon is only good for 90 days or 3 months, okay? But okay lang, at least free, okay? So lastly, so kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, so ano pang inaantay mo? Subscribe na and learn math with Sir Mark. So, let's begin. Okay, so after downloading and installing your emulator, this is how it should look like. So I put the icon of my classes on on the taskbar. So if I'm going to run it, may magpa-prompt the dialog box dyan. Okay, as I said, 90 days lang siya. So I installed it one month ago. So I only have 54 days left. So just click no and then press next. Okay, so this is my emulator. Okay, so uh, problem number one, as I said earlier, uh, na discuss ko na to on one of my videos. So, how to solve this one using your calculator? Okay. So, in the problem, it says here, write the first five terms of the sequence given the formula for its, for its nth term. A sub n equals 4 plus 3n all over 3 plus 4n. Right? Okay. So, now, on your calculator, okay, press this navigation button uh, for you to go to table mode. Okay? Table mode. Okay. Once... Makita nyo yan, naka-block siya, press ex, uh, execute or enter. Okay? So, your a sub n corresponds to f of x. Remember, f of x is a function. Okay? Your f of x will depend on your x. Right? Similarly, your a sub n here, the value of a sub n will depend on the choice of n. Right? So, all you have to do is just to input uh, this, uh, this expression. Right? So, 4 plus 3n, so that will be 4 plus 3. So since f of x yan, so my independent variable is x, I'm going to use x instead of n. Clear? Then to go to the denominator, okay, dalin mo lang yung cursor doon using this uh, navigation button. Then press 3 plus 4n or 3 plus 4x. Okay, there you go. Then ignore mo lang yan, okay. So then this one here, yung table range yan will uh, will correspond to the number, uh, to the sequence, to the number of terms in the sequence. So, suppose you want to display the first five terms, so just one to five. Kung gusto mo naman first ten term, okay, just modify mo na lang. Okay, but since ang problem, ang sabi, first five terms lang yan, so okay na yan. Clear? Okay. Then enter. There you go. So, meaning to say, if, if n or x equals one, y is 1, or f of x, or a sub n is 1. Okay? If n or x equals 2, then a sub n, or f of x, is 0 0.909. Or, this is the fraction, uh, this is the fraction, 10 over 11. Then, if x is 3, okay, f of x is 13 over 15. If x is 4, 16 over 9. If x is 5, 19 over 23. So, that's the first five terms of the sequence. Okay, now, ang tanong, ano ba yung sagot ko kanina dito? Or sagot ko dun sa previous video ko? So, this is the answer on my uh, video. Oh, the manual solution. See that? Pareho, ba? 7 over 7 is 1, 10 over 11, then 13 over 15, 16 over 19, and 19 over 23. Clear? Okay, so let's have problem number 2. Find the general nth term of the sequence 5, 11, 17, and so on. Then calculate also the 100th term. Okay. So, balik ako dyan kay table mode. So, again, so, to do this manually, diba? So, we use this formula. So, a sub n equals 
a plus n minus 1 b, right? Okay, so since we're looking for the formula for the nth term, okay, all you have to do is to substitute, okay? So my first term is 5, okay? n minus 1, then the common difference, subtract mo lang, 11 minus 5 is 6. Then that's it. But you know that you can just enter this in your calculator. So again, on the table mode, okay, just enter this one. 5, oh, sorry, 5 plus x minus 1 times the common difference, which is 6. Okay, then ignore mo lang. So like I said, so you can modify the range. Okay, so since you... We're going to input from 1 to 5. Ibig sabihin lang yan, it will display the first 5 terms of the sequence. See that? You know, 5, 11, 17. Okay, the next one is 23. The fifth term is 29 and so on. Okay. So, therefore, okay, so if you want to get the 100 term, just enter 100. Then that's it. That will give you 599. Okay, if you're after for the 20, 2020 term, since 2020 ngayon, just enter 2020. Then there you go. So the value of f of x or a sub n is 12,119 and so on. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so madali siyang pancha. Okay, now actually, uh, ang sabi sa problem kasi, this, nas nasagot na natin yung 100 term. But if you're after for the general n term, actually you can further simplify this. Right? So that is a sub n equals 5, distribute to 6, that will be 6n minus 6, right? Then combining like terms, so that will be 6n, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So this is the formula for the general n term. Actually, if you're going to enter it, okay, if you're going to enter it, okay, pareho lang. Look, 6x minus 1, okay, then 1 to 5 also, there you go. Pareho lang, di ba? So, uh, that will give you 5, 11, 17, the 4 terms, 23, 29, and so on. So, to check uh, the 100 term, kanina, ang sagot yan, 599, there you go. Clear? So, that's how you do it using the table mode. But do you know that there's an alternative way to do this? Okay? Another alternative way using this calculator. Okay, ibig sabihin, so look at this. On the statistics mode, okay, if I'm going to press that, so you number 2, okay, in number 2, you will see there uh, a linear equation. y equals bx plus a. So, lalabas. So, parang yung slope mo yung b, yung a mo yung y-intercept, right? So, I'm going to press 2 here. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, so if x is 1, okay, x is 2, x is 3, okay, then yung corresponding values niya, right? If x is 1, what is y? Diba 5? Right? If x is 2, what is y? 11. Right? And then if x is 3, y is 17. Right? So, okay. So, kompleto na. So, note that kailangan ko makuha yung value ng a and b so that we can calculate or we can have the general n term. Right? Kailangan makuha ko yung value ng a and b. So, to do that, press option and then press 4, regression calculation. Okay? Press 4. There you go. See that? So, again, so my equation here will be, my b is 6, okay? My a is negative 1. Diba? Pareho? Okay. So, that's how you do it. Again, to do that, so, ulitin ko. Okay. On your statistics, so, press 2, okay? So, for this linear equation, okay? Then, enter mo lang yung corresponding values. If x is 1, okay? If x is 1, y is 5. If x is 2, y is 11. If x is 3, y is 17. There you go. Then option, press 4. Clear? Okay. Next. Okay. So determine the value of k so that k plus 2, 4k minus 6, and 3k minus 2 are the three consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Well, this is easy. To solve it manually, diba? Okay, so that's simply 4k minus 6 minus k plus 2 equals uh, 3k minus 2 minus 4k minus 6. But that's the property of arithmetic sequence. Okay, 
But uh, what I'm going to show you is that pwede siyang isolve using calculator, yung equation. Well, yes, madali lang to kasi linear lang. But what I want you to, sh to show you is that this calculator can solve not only linear equation, pwede rin quadratic, cubic, trigonometric, exponential, and logarithmic equation. Alright, so since arithmetic lang to, so let's limit our equation in linear. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So just enter it. Okay, 4x minus 6 minus, okay, so just enter this one, x plus 2. Okay, so our variable is x is k or x. Now, instead of pressing this equal, I'm going to press this one, yung calculate, yung color red. So to do that, press alpha, then press calc. See that? And then enter 3k minus 2 or 3x minus 2. Okay. Minus 4k minus 6 or 4x minus 6. Now, once the equation is complete, shift and then solve. Okay. See that? So the value of k here is actually 3. See that? Okay. So we can verify if the answer is correct. So my kita nyo dun sa previous video ko. So the answer there is 3. Okay, last problem. Okay, so this is nasolve ko na rin to dun sa previous video. So, paano ko siya isosolve using calculator? Now, uh, I'm going to, sh uh, to cut it short. Ang equation na mag-generate dito is this. The sum of the digits is 15. Okay, so since arithmetic yan, h minus 2t plus u equals 0. And then, negative 19h plus 10e plus u equals 0. Yan yung tatlong equations na magigenerate and napakita ko yan dun sa, dun sa isang video. Okay? Yung manual solution nito. Now, this calculator, syempre, kayang-kaya niya yan. Okay? So, since three equations, three variables lang yan. So, go to the equation mode. Okay? Then, simultaneous equation. Okay? Then, it will ask you how many unknowns. So, since three equations, three unknowns yan, just press 3. Then that's it. Just enter the coefficients and the constant, right? So that is 1, 1, 1, 15. So 1, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, and then the constant is 15. That's it. That's pretty simple, right? Then for the second equation, that would be 1, negative 2, 1, and then 0. And lastly, for the third equation, that's negative 19, okay, 10, and then 1, then this one is Zero. So as you can see here, the value of x, y, z or h, t, u respectively is 3, okay, 5, and 7, okay. So this is the same answer, uh, this is the same answer that, uh, that you can see on the video, okay. So I hope you learned something on this one. So there will be more uh, tutorials using this Casio calculator, depending on the topic, depending on the NELC. So I suggest subscribe on my channel so that you'll be updated okay that's it for today